This is a gun. Useful for shooting your enemies. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a fully working gun with animation, sound, bullets, and more. Let's get started. First, we have to create a model. Create one, or find one in the toolbox. Now add in two parts. One called handle, and another called shoot part. Make them invisible, and turn off collisions and can query. Now, we need to connect everything or the gun will just fall apart. Use motor 6D joints for parts you want to animate, like the mag, and use weld constraints for static parts. Set part 0 to the base part and part 1 to the parent part. Then repeat this for all parts except the handle. Now add in a tool and ungroup your model inside the tool. Next, click on Rig Builder and add a rig. Then copy and paste your gun into the rig to see how it's held. If it's positioned weirdly, just rotate the handle and then copy and paste it back in. Finally, place the gun inside the starter player and when you play, you should see your gun. Now let's get into scripting. First, create a folder called remotes and add in two remote events called shoot event and client replicator. Alright, now all the scripts I'm going to use are in the description. So just copy the pistol client and paste it into the pistol. I'll quickly go over what it does. When you equip the gun, it loads the animations and sets up the other connections. Then, when you click, you either reload if you're out of ammo, or you fire a shot. And then in the shot function, you get the target, which is the mouse position, and the origin, which is the shoot part. And then we tell the server we fired a shot using the shoot event we created earlier. Now you may have seen sounds and animations in there, but we'll get to that later. Before that, let's create the server side of things. We're going to paste in two scripts. First, we want to copy the gun server and paste it into server script service. Next, we want to copy the gun templates and paste it into server storage. The reason we have gun templates is so if you have multiple weapons, the server is able to tell the stats of the weapons apart. Now let me explain the server script. It's going to look complicated at first, but right now we're only going to focus on the hit scan path. So when you call the shoot event, the server gets called here, and then it gets the stats of the gun from the templates we created, and then it projects a ray cast, which pretty much is drawing a line from where your gun is to where you clicked, and if it hits an enemy, then it deals damage. And right now there's no effects because it fires this client replicator event because we want the VFX to be on the client so the server isn't laggy. Now. Copy and paste the replicator script into the starter player scripts. Add a new folder into replicated storage and call it bullet assets. The client replicator script comes with two effects. One is this beam effect when the bullet travels instantly if you set the bullet speed to nil. The other is when it creates a physical bullet and animates it in real time. To create these effects, create two different parts. Name one bullet trail, and make sure you scale it in the Z direction, and name another bullet, which will be used for the projectile, and again, scale it in the Z direction. Then place them into your bullet assets folder. Now you pretty much have a working gun. Now the sounds and animations are already coded in, you just have to add them. Add in three sounds under the handle, and call them equip, reload, and shoot. Make sure play on removed is checked. To find sounds, if you don't know how to create sounds, you can just grab some from the toolbox, insert them into studio, and then copy and paste the ID into your sound effect. Now you should have sounds. To create animations, Click on the animation editor and go to the rig we created from earlier. 
I suggest starting with the idle animation, which is the pose you'll have when you hold the gun. Once finished, make sure to set the animation priority to idle and make it looping. Then publish to Roblox and copy and paste the ID into your pistol client. Now do the same things for the shoot and the reload animation, but this time set the animation priority to action. And now your animations should be done. The ammo UI is also pre-coded in. Just create a new screen UI and call it ammo GUI and then create a label and call it the ammo label. You can customize this however you like. Just make sure to set visible to false. And then in your pistol client, just uncomment this ammo label and make sure that it updates when you reload, when you shoot, when you equip the gun, and then hides when you unequip the gun. And now when you equip the pistol, you can see it in the bottom. When you shoot, you can see the ammo changes. And when you reload, you see it's back to 30. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.